good morning, you guys. It's been a productive day in my life with me. Jealous people around me, I need to change my life. I just turn colder every time I try. It's a day. What would I do without you, my charge? I don't feel that way with anybody. You come and it started out like any other day, but it was anything but something about the way the moon was shining. Something seems so different. No, got in my car, but didn't have no reason. Swear I was driving, but something else was leading me. Lost all track of time. Damn, the next thing you won't believe. Hey y'all, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Y'all, I got a bump on behind my ear. I don't even know if y'all can see it, huh? It looks like a blackhead. Anyways, I'm about to pop it because what is she doing back there? I'm gonna get this for y'all. Is it already coming out? It already came out. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Oh. Ow. Ow, what the fuck? My ice roller, I forgot to put it in the freezer last night. So, just look at this. We're deep conditioning my hair today. That's what I was about to go over with you guys, the agenda. Just give me a minute. One, two, three. Okay, the agenda today is to clean the apartment as always. The apartment always gets crazy after like two or three days. I'm not eating breakfast yet and that's so unlike me. I still gotta take my supplements and stuff. I just woke up and was like, oh, I've got to shower. And then I went and moved my car because I got a parking ticket worth 30 bucks yesterday and I have several of those. I'm going to clean the apartment, make a little nice little breakfast, little probably like eggs, bacon and pancakes with a little fruit bowl on the side. I want to go to the park, but that's if the weather permits. I keep saying, like, on one of my goals for this year is to get back into being a reader because, like, I was a very avid reader. Um, when AR points were a thing in school, I ended up with, like, 300 plus one year, and that was, like, the highest at my school. My school, a lot of kids didn't take it as serious, but, yeah. That was such a good time for me because I was never bored. I could just go and read a book, and I used to read during the summer, too, like... Because I had all those points that year, I ended up getting like a bunch of free books. Yesterday, I ended up going to breakfast. My brother took my mom, my nephew, and I to breakfast. And I have a whole bunch of free books from that. And I got some because I was like, what's the point of me spending money on new books when I could go back and reread things I read when I was like 10 years old? just to get back into the groove of that without wasting any money. So that is kind of like what the goal today is to start on one of those books. I don't know if I'm going to start on the Traveling Pants Girls or if I'm going to read like Mad Apple or Mexican White Boy. If you guys know those books, then you guys know those books are really good. I just don't remember any of the details. I just remember liking them as a kid. We're about to clean the apartment first so we can eat because I'm starving. I'm super hungry. Okay, guys, let's do that. I give you one chance, they fucked it up, they fucked it up again. A mistake ain't a mistake when you make the same one again. You told me that I'm the one, but I ain't one of them. Communication getting frustrated, can we make it make sense? You make more time for your homies than hit me when you feeling lonely. How you gon' look at me sideways when I ain't gonna fuck you in five days? How we together and don't even speak? You too busy out here running the streets, ain't even checking on me. You say it's love, but could it be? I was doing my best, I was doing the most, it started becoming a habit. You was selling me heaven, but giving me hell, that's a fatal attraction. You was giving me hope, but it's killing me slow, it's a silent assassin. Yeah. Gave you love and passion, no one said I imagine it be wasted energy. Just feel wasted, I just wasted. Energy wasted, mentally wasted. Yeah. Everything just feel wasted, I just wasted. Energy wasted, mentally wasted. 
was just being real honest. Let me second guess and move with caution. Look in the mirror and you'll see the problem. Yeah, staying low and avoiding the drama. You was busy fucking what you would call it. Fuck around with me, call up your mama, bitch. So you know that you're wrong for trying to pay me. Now you telling everybody I'm crazy. What if I did it to you, you would hate me. I just really be missing the sex. But the D going with too much regret. I can see that stuck in your ways. But to try and get us away. Who's the maniac? I'm the maniac because we are going to the park. We're going to the park because I really need to clear my head. And the thing about it is, I be talking to y'all about how good God is, and God is great, God is good. But I also like to talk to you guys about the down times and how life can be very depressing, baby girl. Y'all remember when B Simone used to be like, baby girl? That's when I liked B Simone. Not that I don't like B Simone anymore, but like, she's cool. Oh my gosh, this girl has a slick back and her hair is so curly, it's so cute. It looks better than mine. Uh, I be liking like the hairstyles I wear on other people better than I like them on myself. I am headed to the park, which is literally probably like a two to three minute walk, but I had a lot of stuff to carry. I wasn't walking in this heat. Like that's one thing about me. But we're gonna read and we're just gonna enjoy the park because this is a nice park. Like parks are so nice when there aren't any weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, somebody moved for me. Thank you. I was pretty much getting stalked out here, y'all. I, I cannot talk to y'all in Parallel Park. I'm sorry. So, you guys, we are at the park because I need to clear my mind. I need to talk to God. And I've told you guys that I want to start reading. I want to start reading. I'm not lying about that. I truly do want to start reading. Y'all, we got ducks. It's ducks. I want to mess with the ducks, but disturbing nature is not what we're here to do. We're here to enjoy nature. So I'm not going to disturb the duck. And there's a lady that's kind of sitting where I would like to sit. So I got to find a new place to sit, which is okay. I'm fine with that. It's just like, why are you sitting right there, girl? I want to sit right there. Ooh, baby girl your girl is getting cooked i had to put on sunscreen because i ain't getting getting roasted right now this is our spot this is what we gonna chill at okay what i brought brought two cuties the good thing about finding this little piece of shade is I was not cooked. I was getting baked. I feel like I already got in. Never made eye contact. And we are best not to talk to strangers. It's going to be a lot harder for somebody to come to my rescue because I'm just a random woman. Laying out at the park be high key. High key, like, I don't like doing it. Because I'm working with something back there, okay? I'm gonna be real. I'm working with something back here. And the lady looked at me and I was like, hey, she did not speak back. Knowing that everything is fleeting, we can relax. We can let go. We can be at ease. We can enjoy simple, divine, and earthy gifts in the present. We can trust in God's sovereignty. Here, heaven is not something to fear, 
but a soothing balm that lifts the weights of the world off our shoulders. We can just be, the choice is ours. There is a couple that's like so close to me that's been trying to learn a TikTok dance for like the last 15 to 20 minutes. The girl is trying to teach her boyfriend. It's it's kind of cute, but like he sucks. Like he sucks. I finished going over the story I went over about last week in the Bible, which was about Elizabeth. Shout out to her. Shout out to Zechariah. Shout out to Mary, shout out to Joseph, shout out to John the Baptist. But one thing I like to do is to go over it first in the good and the beautiful Bible study. And then I like to pretty much like revisit it later and actually read the Bible so I can kind of marinate on what the message is. It's definitely a bit easier to understand what you're reading in the bible after you went over it in this book i keep forgetting to post the pdf but i'm gonna post it this time since i'm talking about it but it's actually a lot easier to focus and understand what the message of the passage you're reading is because if i would have read the story about elizabeth or hagar or hagar i really don't know how to say the name i feel like i wouldn't have learned or gotten that from the passage I read and when I used to do Bible study with my dad I just used to go to Proverbs because I feel like it was self-explanatory but now I kind of want to go back and read Proverbs over and kind of ingest and take it in now as an adult because I was like 12 13 going over Proverbs of course I don't know anything about life I'm still learning about life but you know it's the reason I'm at this park trying to clear my head you know because life be life and so I'm reading The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This is like an OG. Like this book is so old. Like I said, I got this book when I was like freaking 10, 11. This book is so old, but this is the book I'm choosing to go over. And I think I'm going to read. I'm going to time myself to read for 30 minutes. I'm going to start off with 30 minutes a day. If I could do 30 minutes a day, then I can do it. I okay, y'all. We about to head back home. It's just the park is lovely. It's a great park. You know, I love to see the people, enjoy the fresh air, the water, but the park is very much alive. Like that's the first, like I was like really going through it when I discovered this park, but I was like, oh my gosh, this park feels alive. This park is very much alive and it's so much going on it's so hot when i read i like to be relaxed it's so hard for me to be relaxed with just people walking around me and you know there's this guy playing the drums and it, it's beautiful if you're coming out here to spend time with your partner like i said there was the, the couple doing the tiktoks and stuff that was cute that was a vibe that was bomb but like everything besides that was just too much and you can tell the people that are like used to like i guess the homeless people or the people that are a little bit on drugs um just being all through the out the park i've had like unpleasant encount unpleasant encounters with them i ain't cool with that it's hard for me to get comfortable in that and i feel so bad but i am going to go home and i'm still going to do my 30 minutes of reading at home i just can't do it i can't do it in the park i can't do it in the park i just can't <laughs> Having my dinner, having my dinner. Fresh out the shower. I look at my armpits. My birthday is in five days. This is a num num. Pulling out my bestie. I threw away my wax roller because personally, it was making a mess, and I didn't know all I had to buy was goo gone to get rid of it. So. I threw it away. I don't think I spent that much on it anyways. It was an impulse buy. I've been contemplating if I want to do another social media cleanse and just, you know, dive into more TV books, you know, other things that are interesting to me. Once again, reality TV and 
you know, 50-50 conversations and a bunch of stuff that I don't care about, to be honest. Like, I scroll right past it, but it's so damaging to the brain, regardless of whether you're staring at it a long time. Like, it's just like, if you get a pair of shoes and, like, one person says they're ugly, it's like, okay, whatever, right? And if the day has gone on and you've seen 30 people or heard 30 people say your shoes are ugly, you like, these motherfuckers might be ugly and that's kind of how i'm starting to feel about opinions that i see on twitter it's just twitter facebook whatever social media it's just not healthy summer semester is about to start i don't know how i'm gonna pay for this um still got rent other bills you know <laughs> sometimes i want to give up and go home because <sighs> this is the most stressed and the brokest I've been in the past four or five years since I started working. I had a lot of stuff, but I do feel like good news comes in threes. You know, I got a new car. I had something else really nicely fall through for me. So I feel like the third time's the charm is gonna be the job. I need this money. Yeah, if you're a set it off fan, you know what I'm talking about. But the person that I am right now, obviously can't be the person that i'm trying to be in the next few months whether that's mentally emotionally financially like i'm still trying to build myself up like everything i'm doing right now is to build the character and just be the person that i know i can be but like i said like i said the beginnings have been very humble they're getting a little too humble i'm tripping i'm kidding Look, this is disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting, but you guys have got to see the hair. Yeah. chickadees i i don't read as fast as i used to read and i just feel like it's because i don't read as much as i used to read and that is a-okay but i think i got to a good stopping point i finished at least the first chapter i did do a cool thing while i was reading though because i do remember learning like a lot of words and learning a lot of things about vocabulary and just the english language through reading i started a list about new words that i've learned and they'll be listed um based off where i learned them and their actual definition so the three words that stuck out to actually like four words that stuck out to me during the time was motley or motley diaspora i've seen it before but i would like to know full context solemnity solemnity Solemnity. I don't know how you say it. And manifesto. I've heard of all these words before, but I think I want to take a deeper dive into what they actually mean so I can understand the context to which I can use them. You know what I'm saying? And pray for whoever the ambulance is on the way with or to. Love y'all. Bye.